think about it. What is your goal? What is your dream? What is your desire? And what I want to tell you, first of all, is that the dream that you have, the goal that you have, it is a reality. It can be created. It can be obtained as long as you believe in it. I want you right now to think and visualize your dream. Think and visualize your goal, the thing that you want to achieve. What is your ideal view of the future? Perhaps it's something in your career. Perhaps it's something in your uh, business. Perhaps it has to do with your family or perhaps it's just something in life, something that you want to achieve. Um, for me personally, it is that I always want my family to be happy and, and to be healthy and to have you know, the, the happiness and the magic in every single moment to really, really be happy and to make a positive impact to people all around the world. Children, uh, children who are in uh, less fortunate positions, for example, our charity in Kenya, um, but the, next to that also all people all around the world. And right now, today, it's you. So think about it. What is your goal? What is your dream? What is your desire? And what I want to tell you, first of all, is that the dream that you have, the goal that you have, it is a reality. It can be created. It can be obtained as long as you believe in it. The power of the mind. It's about how you can now exceed your physical being by accessing the in indefinite or the, the divine power of our spiritual being. Because once you realize the power of that, you are able to create things in your mind, in your feeling, in your spirit. And thereby, by you living that already right now, you can start attracting things into your life. You can start having a positive impact on all people around you. And not just all people, all creatures around you, on nature, on your own state, that no matter where you go, no matter where you are, no matter what kind of influence there is around you, which kind of people are around you, whether people are sad in the, in the trains of London, that you can still be positive and have a positive impact on the people around you. Because a lot of people say who are in self-development or who are top entrepreneurs or leaders all around the world, they are saying that for everyone in life, there's always this choice because things happen. People will always have challenges or face challenges at different moments in their life. But it's about how do you view life? What is your perspective? And you have a choice to make right now. How do you want to view your life? How do you want to view the things that are happening to you? Because once you start mastering this, once you start becoming the master of your mind, of your spirit, of your divine power, you will be able to create things that you want in your life. So first of all, type below, comment below, what is the goal that you want to achieve? What is the thing, the dream that you would like to live? What is that? Comment below. Number two is, believe me or believe anybody out there that the dream that you have can become a reality. But the choice is yours. You have to decide that right now you are open to some kind of power, some kind of positivity, some kind of knowledge that you can start implementing it and create that reality. Because it's very easy and we are being tested every single day how to view certain situations. Someone may treat us un fair or not nice or something may happen and we think like oh why is this happening to me that's the choice how are we going to view it are we going to view it in a way that we say oh this is not fair it's not nice that, that it always happens to me or are we going to say okay cool this is happening how can i get away from it or how can i change things around how can i make sure that again i elevate my mind into something positive because what you have to understand is that in order for you to create that future that you want to create for yourself you have to have a positive mind. You have to have a positive vibration. For those of you who listen to reggae music, Bob Marley and Siggy Marley, they speak about it all the time. Positive vibrations. 
Now, you may have experienced this a countless of times in your life. You may have done something where you felt like you were doing it effortlessly. You felt that you were doing it with such great joy and things were just coming your way. You were like, wow, I feel so good. It's, it's, it's happening. And, and I don't know why. I didn't even try to do anything, but it's just happening. That is when you are in flow. Eric speaks about it all the time on his YouTube and on uh, the different events, for example, Superpower Life. This is a very powerful state that you would like to get yourself into and start practicing to get yourself into that more often such that you can start becoming a uh, master of your own destiny or becoming someone who is now becoming more aware to be able to use positivity to create what you want to create and to leave a positive mark every single place that you go. If I right now just smile at you, <laughs> smile and mean it like really really happy you can see it you can feel it it's in in my smile it's in my eyes it's in the energy and it doesn't matter that we're now separated perhaps miles away you are here on the other side of the screen and I'm here we are one and the energy is still going through you what you have to understand right now is that each and every one of us possess this energy and if you are serious about your goals your dreams the things that you want to create whether it is for yourself or whether it is for the people that you love it all comes down to you mastering your mind it all comes down to you right now making a conscious decision that you are going to step up and that you are going to say okay i am intrigued i think this is interesting I am very passionate about the dreams that I have. Perhaps it is you want to get a certain result. Perhaps it is in your business. Perhaps you are setting up or launching something and you hope and want so much to make it into a success. That's not just a hope. That is reality. But it only becomes reality if you choose it to be reality right now. Because the thing is this, if I, for example, want to do something, I want to launch a new business, for example, yeah? It's actually true. I'm going to launch a new business together with Eric. So watch this space. But if you want to launch a new business and I think, oh, I hope it becomes a success. I'm not sure. I've never been into this field before, so I'm just going to do my best. But I hope it's going to work. Is that strong? Is that powerful? Is that something that you can feel the vibrations of peace, the vibrations of certainty, the vibration of faith? Or is it much more strong if you say, hey, I have faith and I see this goal that I want to reach. I do not know whether I will get to there this way or whether I will get there this way or this way or this way, or perhaps I will go like, woo, and then that way. But I know we will get there. I know I'm going to take action, all good action steps where throughout the walk that I'm walking or the walk that we are walking, we're doing good things that will inspire people, that will help people, that will allow us to do something good and great. And somewhere down the line, I have faith that I will get to that goal. And while going towards that goal, I am happy right now. Because if you just get fixated on a goal, and that's the flip side of this, if you get fixated on a goal, and you only will be happy once you reach that goal, then happiness is very far away. In fact, it, be, it will be unreachable until you realize that happiness happens right now. And until you realize that with the power of happiness right now, you are going to your goal much more easy, much more fast, much more effortlessly, and much more positive impactedly. <laughs> so if you are right now, and if you are sitting watching this, or if you are standing watching this, sit up straight, feel the power that you possess. Start having an open mind. Start believing in the power that you possess, because it does not matter whether in your life things have happened that caused you to believe that you are not certain whether you have it, what it takes to make your dream a reality. It does not matter. Because if you decide right now that it's time to step up, that it's time to feel that strength, to feel that love, to feel those vibrations of everything around you and start cooperating with everything around you, that you will start tuning the vibes, tuning what is around you, 
also called by uh, Abraham Hicks, the grid, start becoming more aware of what is there such that you can play that instrument with your own vibrations.